And we're back with Minecraft. How's everyone doing? Hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, as you might have noticed, I haven't been uploading for like two or three days. Um, because we got like a bunch of stuff delivered for our new workshop. Um, I still have to finish up a vlog um, as well. Um, but yeah, that has been pretty much taken my whole day. Just getting... Um, cabinets and a storage drawers and a rolling cart like you know the the whole whole nine yards for a nicely organized workshop in real life so i yeah i've been kind of busy and haven't really gotten to um doing more minecraft i wanted to finish up the paths and maybe do another um uh time lapse episode for that particular reason um but yeah that's not gonna uh, uh happen anytime soon because yeah i just I gotta find the time to squeeze all of those things in together. Um, I could have recorded um, after the fact, um, absolutely, but, but, I was just too tired. I'm just like, uh, you know what, it's gonna be fine. You know, me stressing about just like recording late at night um, is not gonna make anything better. Um, just, just, just to have an episode and then it's going to be me being super tired and not very interesting. Not that I'm generally very interesting, but you get the idea. So you might be wondering, what is he, what is he doing? Why is he taking all of this apart? I wanted to build something with glass. I wanted to have, um, something like a little greenhouse structure. So what I'm going to do to prepare that, probably not going to do it right off the bat, is, actually give me that... Should I use buckets or should I just... Uh, I'll just put sand over it. Screw it. Um, man, look at all this water that I have available to me. Um, so yeah, I've, I've been thinking of putting something um, with glass here. I'm not too happy. I don't need that much sugar cane. And uh, in the future, I'd also like to take sugar cane and automate the process of harvesting it a little bit more. I've seen some really cool farms from Mystic Cat. Maybe I'll put that here as well. Um... On, on my island somewhere. Uh, at first I was thinking I should build an aviary for the parrots, you know, or parrot. I think it's two, right? We we, we lost a few. We lost one. Yeah, yeah, that, that sucked. Now I don't know where the blocks are. Were they at the very back? They were probably at the very back. Let's fill this in, because this is probably currently drawing into everything. Okay. Water is so weird. I will, I will never get over that. Yeah, I think I messed that up because the water <laughs> connected now and turned into like this, this continuous thing. No problem. I have a plenty of blocks to use. Uh, do I, do I, I thought I had more sand with me. I'll just use gravel. Good enough. I just have to backfill this back in to get rid of the water. Eh, that's, that's a little tedious. How, how about I do that real quick? Oh, just as I finished, it started raining. How appropriately depressing. Ah, oh, look at the reflections. So nice. Anyways, look at all this stuff floating around. Give me that, give me my stuff back. I want my stuff back, or at least some of it. So, yeah, as you can see, we have this little staircase, if you don't remember, or just, you know, tuned in later, because, you know, why wouldn't you? Like, why would you go for the trouble of watching all of these episodes? That seems really, really tedious. So don't worry, I got your back. I see something that was done a while ago, I might talk about it, or I'll forget, which is also quite likely. Oh yeah, we have all of the nether ward in here as well. So I wonder if we should, you know, have a little uh, greenhouse, like a, um, what would that be uh, called, a um, slanted roof going up and just have this little area, or um, put a second layer in here like bring this down a bit just have it too high too high and that would give us a, a new growing space yeah i think i think i'm gonna do that just some just reworking some stuff you know yes give me all that bamboo that has to go sadly thank you it's it's for it's for the better we we need to make things look nicer I didn't even have a plan for this episode. I I was just, 
like, yeah, let's let's do something around the base. And I went from an aviary to now a greenhouse, and I approve. Okay, holly up. And it's a good idea to harvest that nether wart anyway. Haven't really done my uh, farmerly duties recently in farming all of this. I really want to get some uh, automation going in this whole, uh, on this whole place, just to, you know, take care of some of the tedious aspects of farming, which is, you know, the actual farming part. Don't get me wrong, I like it, but harvesting resources when you want to get some more stuff done. Yeah, work, work smarter, not harder, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. In a very roundabout way. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think this this would look nice if we had um, a second tier over here. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this side of the island, but this is going to be a nice little little greenhouse. Oh yeah, I had a little pool here. I forgot that I had that, that I did that. I did a thing and now I had forgotten. Oh nay. Ah, no problem. No problem, we'll, we'll make it work. It could be rather neat, you know, to have a little um, path leading the water outside, but this is not what I, <laughs> this is not quite what I had in mind. Um, well, how about we guide it Back to the river for now. Ocean, not river. It, it's an ocean weasel. You, you heard of those before? Wet and huge and salty. Just just like my ex-girlfriend. I, I don't know. Just couldn't come up with a better joke. Stairs, why do you work here? But why water not work here? I don't understand. It's very confusing to me. Minecraft, your rules make no sense to me. Why have you be? Why have you forsaken me? But yeah, this is, you know, this would be rather nice, I think. We'll just have to figure out how to uh, integrate that um, little river into my plans. Open the door. Thank you. That's a shield weasel. That's not a door. There you go. And... Let's place a little bit further behind. Okay. Ooh, this is looking pretty neat from here. I think that was the right decision to open this whole area up a little bit. Got a little crammed, and space is certainly something we have plenty of. I'm even going to uh, open this up a little further, bring this a little bit lower to the coastline. Uh, that's not the word. What is it called? Water level? Uh, ocean floor, le I don't know, I, I remember nothing. I remember nothing from flight school. Because I never, I, n I never went to flight school. So I can't remember anything from it. Makes sense, doesn't it? Okay. I shall put the nether wart away, yas. Eh. Give me. Alright, that'll, that'll come in handy when we get back to uh, putting it down again. Ow. I feel like I want this uh, water level to go a little lower and not stay so high up. Is that, po is that even possible to do how I'm imagining it? Probably not. Yay, it works. Okay, okay, okay. It, it, it's a little lower to the ground. That's exactly, exactly what I wanted. Now we're going to remove these. Keeps going even further. And then here, I guess we can then connect it to the ocean. Yeah, that, that's going to look neat. Why am, I, why am I building in rain? I mean, at least it's... Stopping? Is it stopping? I don't know. Let's let's get some sleep. Out in the rain. That's that's where you get the bed best best bed rest. 
All right, yeah, I can I can work with this. I think removing things and then building back on top of them is going to be a little bit easier in this case than trying to just remove a little bit and make that work. I'd much rather just, you know, remove all the sandstone because I can't really plant anything on it anyway. And then just build up with dirt or whatever else um, I think would be beneficial here. I don't really have a plan for this um, in my head, but I think it's going to involve tons of glass and a really um, open look. I think that's important. Really make the front of the house uh, a breathe. And still have some sort of like farming. Because I do like the idea of having that right next to the house. I'm gonna take this water out here for now and if I want to have a little stream going down I can you know build that in later as I said it's probably easier to first you know build the foundation do some terraforming which I actually didn't intend to do this episode because I was worried that terraforming might be a little little bit on the bland side but here I am now terraforming like a crazy person Okay, I think if we're gonna do a uh, greenhouse of sorts, I wanna make little garden beds, essentially, sitting them on the ground. But that also means I want a nice looking ground. And I was thinking, okay, what, how could we make this ground look, look neat, but still kind of fit into the whole, I guess, aesthetic of this place? And then I realized, yeah, you can, or I looked it up, you can just use sandstone and turn that into uh, what's it called? A uh, cut sandstone. Let's have a look. How does that look? I, I hope it looks nice. Uh, yeah, it looks looks fairly smooth. I mean, reminds me of sand. Not gonna lie, it's not. It's not quite different now, is it? Let's see. Wow. Never mind. It's okay. It looks nicer on the sides. I think that's. That's the takeaway. So you can have like nice smooth sandstone on the side, but yeah, no, 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 not really interested. We can still create some um, cut sandstone standing torches with it, which could also be really neat looking. Um, some lighter looking torches. Cause I gotta find out what to do with all of the sandstone that I have. Cause I have, I have, I have a bit, I have, I have a fair amount. Um, that being said, I'm just gonna grab all of this and I'm gonna open my sandbox. <laughs> Sandbox. And I'm gonna make lots of sand, uh, glass. Plenty of glass. I'm gonna make all, I'm not gonna turn all of it into, uh, okay, that's cut sandstone. That all sand, yes. I'm still gonna keep a little bit of sand around in case I need to use some more and I don't wanna, like, dig out more. I don't know if I need that much sand. Okay. Gimme that, gimme that. Oh, there's terracotta in there. Right! Because uh, we can make some flower pots, which will come in really handy for um, flowers for our little, little greenhouse. I think that would really add to the charm. Um, so, pot, let's have a look. There are the um, actual um, orange hopper pots that you can automatically harvest the crop into uh, the inventory below. Like you put a hopper below or just a chest below and it will grow into it. Those are from a mod, but look how much stuff they need. They need the pot. Flower pot. Oh, they have a hopper integrated. How nice of them. Um, but yeah, we would first need the... What's the difference? Orange hopper pot. 
botany pot. They seem to be the same. Very confused. Oh, okay, okay, I understand. Because you have the botany pot and a hopper will do that. Because those will just grow stuff in it. Understood. That's nice. We're not going to make use of any of those, I think. Um, but it's good to know that they're here. I just want to make some flower pots. I mean, that's what I got brick for. I mean, you can make f fancy things with brick. Honeycomb bricks. Bricks, bricks. Who doesn't like some bricks, bricks? But I like flower pots. I, I think that's very, they're very charming. Just plenty of flower pots. I should put them just in my living room just to play around with them or somewhere over here. Where some, yeah, I'm going to put them on the balcony. Plop. Plop. Uh, how do I put flowers in there? I assume I just take one of the flowers from my inventory. Okay, here's a cornflower and a tulip. Let's see if I can put either of those in the pot. Yes. Yes, that works well. What happens if you put like a giant bush in that? Like, I'm talking like a rose bush. Because I'm pretty sure I have oxide daisy poppy. I might have planted those. Maybe I have some in my backpack. Because every once in a while I grab some when I remember to. No, I do not. Hmm. That's okay. I'm just, just glad that I have flower pots. Yay. Maybe we should flower pots all over this place. Because you don't need clay for anything else. He says, knowing that you need clay for plenty of other things. But don't judge me. Um, yeah, we're going to put the soul sand and stuff over into our weird large chest that holds all the nether stuff. Or, you know, mostly nether stuff. I know there's other stuff in here as well. Cobblestone, that's probably a thing I'm going to um, want to use. Actually, since we have so much, how about we just turn that into some good old bricks? Uh, just, just good old stone. Let's go ahead and do this. And let's go ahead and smelt some metals. The fast way. Yes, yes. I, I got the blast furnace and I never really used it. Look at all. The, I did not realize how much iron ore I have. That's that's shocking, to say the least. That That's a good amount of iron ore that I have. Didn't realize how much I had collected. Good. That's going to come in handy when we get to making uh, tracks again. You keep smelting. Ah, oh, nice and fast. Good. Just, just how I like it. Ooh, it's night time. How about, since it is night time, and I'd like to get some XP to put some enchantments on my armor eventually, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna hack myself a few mobs. Since I've been hanging out here, they should have spawned a plenty. And that way we can switch things up a little bit. Sweetie, sweetie, swooty, I'm coming for the booty. Murder! Oh, actually way less ones spawned than I thought they would, but okay. Well, since I have to wait a little bit for mobs to spawn in, just sitting around there, kind of bland, how about we go and uh, mine here a little bit in this little chasm that I had, um, I don't want to say cleared out, but freed up, just made accessible earlier, and there's still some, you know, coal to be had, so no reason to waste our time waiting when we can do something more useful. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in here and harvest a few minerals, some coal and whatnot, uh, while I wait for the mobs to spawn. Sure, he's a lot. No, I I just got myself uh, locked into um, an insane little project. How did you get out of here? Where did you spawn from? Genuinely confused. Hmm. 
Not sure, but we got we got pl at least a bunch of mobs. Not as many as I would have thought. Um, hanging out here. I don't know what the reason for that is. I really didn't change much about the design. Loyalty allows the Triton to return after being thrown. What a nice little uh, in, in enchantment we have here. Well, it seems like we have a bunch of folks just hanging out. Not upstairs, but against this wall. I don't know why they're not falling down further. Frankly, that's rather insulting. Wait, where are they? Oh, they must be up. Ah, nope, 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 nope. I take it back. They must be upstairs. They must be higher up there. But I don't really have access to that. I don't know why they're all hanging out there. Oh, looks like they're now flowing in a direction. I'm just watching them do things on the minimap, but I don't freaking know what their deal is. They're weird like that. I might have I might have to have a look. A little bit of a little bit of maintenance here and there. Alright, wasn't that the path? Nope, that's not quite the path up. I see all of you. Yeah, not this this works perfectly fine as you can tell. Oh, there you all are. <laughs> okay. Interesting. I don't I don't know why they weren't falling down into this hole in the first place. Weird weird uh weird things happening. One of these days I'll build a better mob farm. One of these days. Alright, where was I? Ah yes. Clearing you guys out. Ooh, even got a witch! A skilled witch! Ooh, luck of the C3! What a good find! Yay, we're finally at 32, which means I can actually enchant something properly. Like those diamond boots, we could actually do something nice with them for once. But before we do, I'm actually kind of intrigued by the idea of um, having a closer look at my fishing rod, which has Luck of the C3. So what happens? Can I get Luck of the C4 or 5? I, I should be able to, right? Um, if I take this now and then take luck of the C3, nope, nope, it doesn't doesn't do anything. So I guess I need a luck of the C4 that I then can put on the fishing pole. So let's go up, and I'm pretty sure I have another luck of the C somewhere. Um, I have fortune three. I'm gonna take that real quick and throw some stuff over that I don't want anymore. Yay, lack of- wait, lack of the C3, I guess, must be maximum, because if I use 3 and 3, it just turns into 3 again, I guess, so that must be the maximum. Hmm. Le learned another thing. Oh, well. So, they might not be as useful as I thought they would be. Oh, well. That's okay. Now, let's go ahead and see what we can throw on those boots. Protection 3, that sounds good in my ears. It's a start. And then let's see what else we would like to put on those, if we can. Fire protection 4, I like the idea of that. Okay. Can put fire protection on it, okay. Respiration can't put that on either. Feather falling one. Yes, I can do that. That's not really that great, is it now? 
you know what? I'll 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 take it and I'll I'll improve on it. It co it costs one. I don't even know what I need to put. I guess respiration probably goes onto the helmet. Is my best guess. On that note, I need another helmet anyway. So how about I just make one real quick? And let's see. Respiration two costs four. Yep, let's throw that on there. Fire protection. Ooh, yeah, let's throw that on there as well. Very nice. And now the question is, can I combine this? Oh, then it has four on them. That might not be good. Oh, what are we going to lose? Projectile protection. Okay. Fire protection four, unbreaking two, respiration two. And then we can probably still throw mending on it, so I'm going to go for that. I don't have a mending book right now, but that's okay. Oh, time to collect some of my stuff that I was smelting. And I think we have enough glass to build whatever glass structure we want uh, at the front of the island. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit more cobblestone to make more um, stone out of it. Because definitely a good old fan of those stone bricks. Okay, so since I intended to actually do some work here, let's at least do the floor. Let's find a good material um, for that floor. Um, polished andesite always looked nice. Um, polished diorite might be neat. I say polished diorite. It shall be. And then let's make some... That's a lot of slabs. That's okay. <laughs> It's not that I'm going to be running out of uh, diorite anytime soon. Now we're going to have to replace those. Oh, those are all still slabs. I remember. I remember! Oh, that's the one thing that if I do the garden beds, how do I do what? I guess I can still put water underneath of them. That shall work. Just just thinking out loud. Don't Don't worry about my feeble mind here, talking to itself. Well, I hope you don't mind that you have plenty of sped up footage in this episode, because there's just me goofing around with so many different things that it doesn't really make sense to just keep talking over those, because otherwise we're not going to make any progress. Okay, now it's time for our polished diorite floor. Well, turns out I did need all of those slabs, or at least uh, nearly all of those slabs, just to make this floor happen. Ooh, yeah, this is coming along nicely. Very good. Yeah, let's let's ignore this over here for now. This is this is not important. Don't worry about it. So, should we do just full diorite blocks here on the side? We do have plenty of polished, so. Um, might as well extend it, or we uh, encase it on the outside with a darker stone. I think that would be neat. Cobblestone kind of makes sense. Um, but on that note, let me just uh, ex remove the um, sand over here. Just to make that look a little bit nicer. It gives us an idea how this would look with a cobblestone border. Hmm... 
Let's see, let's try some stone brick, just to see how that would look. I'm gonna need a few more to see how that would work. No, this doesn't really make a whole... I feel it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have, like, stone brick. I think cobblestone really makes the most sense, or at least makes some sense. We could also do sandstone, the uh, cut sandstone. But then we have just the light border again. Anyway, let's just remove the sand for now and then just replace it with cobblestone for good measure. I've been using a lot of cobblestone uh, around here, so we might want to replace that at some point, but I guess for now I'm okay with it. I say with a questioning tone in my voice, because I'm not entirely sure that I like it. I think for now I'm okay with it. Now, the walls, on the other hand... Let's try to make them look a little different. Let's use bricks for once. You know, I could have also just used stone, but... Let's just go with stone brick for now. Oh yeah, that's that's better. That's better than cobblestone. Time to get rid of a lot of stone. I'm just gonna take that if you don't mind. Thank you very much. I kind of enjoy the sandstone look in the back because it would be, you know, like building on top of a sandstone structure. So I kind of feel that makes sense to me at least. Ah yes, water. Water! Too much water. Eh, excuse me. I didn't even realize that there was water underneath this. And now maybe I can make use of some cut sandstone. Remember how we were like, ah, oh, looks looks kind of neat on the side, but not really, doesn't really work too well for the rest. For the top, because it just looks like sand, you know? Not that there's anything inherently wrong with sand. But I wonder what it would look like. Hmm. Looks decent, um, from the side, I think. Mm. Man, this is difficult, deciding on what blocks to use to make it look nice. <laughs> uh, I've been watching recently some uh, time lapses of people just using... And I think... I forgot, like content packs essentially, just with more building blocks and uh, decoration, just to make nice looking little places. And I've kind of taken like a liking to those. I'm not saying that I necessarily want to do something like this. It's just, I can appreciate just, you know, decorating something nicely. Yeah, this now looks so very weird. And I'm pretty sure that just putting some torches on it is not going to do much for me, but... Oh uh, well. Let's put some torches here so we have nothing spawning. Because that would be annoying, wouldn't it? Okay, I think I can say... Uh, this is all right for today's work. I know we didn't get too much done. Um, at least nothing crazy spectacular. But I think this is going to be a good start to create a big old uh, a greenhouse on the front. I can see it, you know, being... Eh, what's a good height? Like, going up to this height and then 
tilting downwards. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out, but it's going to look really neat with all of that glass. And then we're going to put flower beds inside. Or maybe I should put the flower beds and, and, and growing beds inside first and then build the glass based on it around afterwards. I think that might be the smarter approach. Look at this chaos, this mess in my inventory. It's bad. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I really do. Sorry if it's all over the place and I can't seem to decide what to work on next. But I still hope you got a good time out of it and got to relax a little bit. Um, let me know what uh, you think we should do with this or if you have other um, improvements or projects that we should work on. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, would make my life easier to figure that out. I'm still thinking about an underground train station but i'm not entirely sure how to pull that one off yet anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the episode i'm weasel i'm out and hope to see you blah, 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 around bye bye